Allison Goldie back for another segment of From the Field, where we highlight the field research being conducted each and every day by moat scientists. I recently had the opportunity to tag along on Turtle Patrol with senior biologist Melissa Bernhard. The Sea Turtle Conservation and Research Program has been monitoring nesting activity on beaches for over three decades in order to better understand nesting trends and better inform conservation efforts. So let's check in with Melissa and see what a typical couple days looks like for this dedicated team. The Sea Turtle Conservation and Research Program monitors 35 miles of Sarasota County beach coastline from Longboat Key all the way down to Venice. But today I headed to Casey Key. The day starts with Melissa checking voicemail updates from volunteers who walk the beaches starting at dawn. Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Melissa Bernhard. I'm a senior biologist and conservation manager with the Sea Turtle Conservation and Research Program at Moat. When a new turtle activity has been identified, usually flagged by a volunteer, the process goes something like this. First, identify the species based on the distinct characteristics found in the tracks that have been left behind. Loggerheads, the most abundant nesting species here, alternate flipper strokes while climbing the beach, resulting in a zigzag pattern and a comma-shaped back flipper impression. Green sea turtles, slightly larger than loggerheads, must use both flippers simultaneously to haul their bodies up the sandy surface. And a tail drag will often be seen between the lasagna-like flipper strokes. If a nest has been verified, Melissa gets to work recording data such as distance between the waterline and the nest, distance to the closest upland barrier, and GPS coordinates. The stakes get encoded with pertinent information, a do not disturb sign is attached, and flagging tape is secured to mark off the nesting territory. Nests are checked daily to monitor for signs of depredation or washouts from high tides and storms. Barring any issues, hatchlings should be ready to emerge from their nests in about 60 days on average. The Turtle Patrol team also monitors for evidence of false crawls, events during which female sea turtles come up on shore intending to lay a nest, but instead return to the ocean without having done so. After the turtle activity has been documented, a large X is drawn through the crawl to indicate to the next day's team that it has already been accounted for. Around two months after the initial nest was laid and documented, the turtle patrol team starts to see evidence of successful hatches, a dip in the sand between the stakes, and a hundred or so tiny flipper prints all headed straight toward the ocean. Three days after a presumed hatch, or around 70 days after the eggs were laid, the team goes back to the nest to determine the remaining contents through excavation. Measurements are taken to determine the distance from the top of the nest to the first uncovered egg, as well as the total height and width of the nest. The number of live hatchlings, unhatched eggs, egg shells, and pipped eggs, or those in which a sea turtle has made it only halfway out of the shell, are sorted and counted. These numbers give researchers an estimate of hatch success, or how many eggs actually hatched, and emergence success, the number of hatchlings that actually made it out of the nest and hopefully safely to the ocean. So a lot of people want to know 
why we do these nesting surveys and, and why they're important. Um, we are a part of a, a bigger network of uh, volunteers throughout the state of Florida that conduct nesting surveys for every morning of the sea turtle nesting season um, in the entire state. And this allows us to get a, a good understanding of how the, the sea turtles are doing in Florida, um, which is one of the most important rookeries in the world. Uh, especially for the loggerhead sea turtle. We want to make sure that their populations continue to do well despite, um, you know, challenges they may face such as uh, disappearing habitat, uh, climate change, pollution, all that stuff. So we are out here um, as part of our normal every year routine uh, to collect our nesting survey data and see how our Sarasota County sea turtles are doing. In the last 38 years of nest monitoring, the Sea Turtle Conservation and Research Program has documented over 2.5 million hatchlings born on Sarasota County beaches and over 100,000 turtle crawls. Nesting numbers continue to increase annually, but only time will tell what the future will bring. Despite the occasional rumbles of thunder heard in the distance, Melissa and her team can walk away from this field day knowing that they contributed to a statewide effort to protect Florida's visiting sea turtles and their nesting habitat. Melissa and the Sea Turtle Conservation and Research Team will continue to monitor nesting activity along our coastline to help ensure the survival of these very, very vulnerable species. In the meantime, there are several helpful actions that you can take to ensure that these animals have a long and healthy life. First, if you are visiting beaches during nesting season, make sure to keep your lights off or draw your curtains at night to block some of that light as it can be very distracting to nesting females and very disorienting to the hatchlings trying to find the brightest horizon to reach the sea. Also, make sure if you visit the beach during the day to collect all of your belongings, all of your beach furniture, um, flatten out the surface of the sand, fill in any holes, as these can all be very large obstacles and threats to not only hatchlings, but to nesting females trying to find the perfect nesting spot. Make sure that your garbage and recyclables are put into the proper receptacles and as always try to choose reusables as much as you can. This will not only help out our sea turtles but all the life in the ocean. Well thanks for joining me today for this session of From the Field and we hope to see you next time.